The Willoughby Valley Station never stops. At all hours of the night, passengers arrive and depart. Tonight is special. There's a new moon. That means the Earth's shadow is covering it, and that makes for one of the darkest nights of the year. like this is the best time to watch shooting stars. What's a shooting star? Well, son, shooting stars are also called meteors. They're huge pieces of space junk flying through the universe, and when they approach the Earth's atmosphere, they heat up and they burn as they pass. Look, did you see that? Up there. No, Mommy, where? What did you where? see? A shooting star, right up there. Keep watching and don't blink. I saw it. Where, Mommy, where? I saw it, Dad. All oh, you guys, you don't let me get to see anything. Well, keep looking, kids, and be patient. Maybe we'll see another. There it is. I saw it again. Me too. I saw it too. They go by fast, don't they? Hey, Dad, what if a meteor hit the Earth? Nearly all meteors burn up in the Earth's atmosphere, and only a few have hit in all of Earth's history. Most all craters have been worn away by erosion, except for one in Arizona. <laughs> This is Meteor Crater in Arizona, the best preserved crater on Earth. The largest to be identified as being hit by a meteor, and so similar to the moon, Apollo astronauts trained here. The floor of the crater is 570 feet deep and is more than 4,000 feet across. It was first reported in 1871 and thought to be an extinct volcano. In 1890, nickel-iron meteorites were found on the surrounding plain, and eventually these discoveries led to the suggestion that the crater had been formed by a giant meteorite. Today, families can visit the site and see for themselves the 50,000-year-old crater. Scientists believe about 10% of the meteor remains 1,300 feet deep beneath the southeast rim. Looking at the far slope of the crater, you will see rock strata arched up more than 100 feet above other levels. The meteor hit the earth at an angle, and this is believed to be the impact point. Scientists believe the size of the meteor that struck was only 80 to 100 feet in diameter, but weighed millions of tons and was traveling at nearly 43,000 miles an hour. a meteor only 100 feet in diameter, creating a hole a mile wide and 60 stories deep would have an impact greater than any atomic bomb known to man. 
The cloud of dirt thrown into the air must have been big enough to cover half the country. Some people even believe it was the impact of a meteor that caused the dinosaurs to vanish by affecting the atmosphere and changing the weather. Where do meteors come from, Mommy? Nobody knows for sure. Some might be pieces of exploded stars, or maybe big chunks of ice frozen in the coldness of space. Why is it cold in space? Well, because there is no air up there to collect the heat from the sun. I saw it, another shooting star. Me too, I saw it too. And look, another right over there. The atmosphere, which protects us from meteors, also holds air around the Earth, and that's what keeps us warm. We must be low on air tonight, Mommy. Why is that, honey? Because I'm getting cold. Oh, hey, there's another one. Did you see it? I sure did, son. But it's time to go. Sissy says we're low on air, and she's getting cold. Morning.